Mike Deutsch, Sling Birdies. We're going to do some indoor, outdoor action, starting in the sheltered area, doing some putting, and then we're going to be doing some ping pong because great putting actually leads to amazing ping pong and stellar ping pong leads to spectacular putting. It's a weird synergy between the sports that a lot of people don't know, but after years of studying both the art of table tennis and the art of golf, I have discovered that there is a link and I'm going to show you that link right now. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> okay. I'll do that again. If you're wondering, Mike's got some shiny shoes on. These are actually, can you see that? These are Painter, they're really awesome. It's a cricket brand that just got into golf and they're making some fantastic golf kicks. The uh, guy they tapped did uh, signature shoes for Tiger Woods and for um, Jordan Spieth and even Greg Norman too. So we got three in a row. Are you ready for some ping pong now? Okay, we're here at the table. This is a Stiga ping pong table and we're outdoors. I like to play ping pong in the breeze. I don't know why. I don't like ping pong dungeons or like ping pong bars. It's not my scene. I like to play outdoor ping pong. Now, one mistake a lot of people play, and I teach ping pong in a ping pong school right here actually, and some students go on to regional success, some go on to state success. Nobody has made the national team yet. That's because most of my players are just trying to get better at Fortnite. They're trying to improve their hand-eye coordination. Anyway, one mistake a lot of tournament players make when they first start is they think, oh, I'm gonna play home game like that. You can't do that. You can't drop the ball in tournament ping pong because you can impart spin when you drop the ball. In tournament ping pong, and it's a big adjustment for a lot of people, the ball has got to start palm of your hand and you got to throw it six inches or the length of a ping pong paddle. That is a serve in tournament ping pong. It's hard for people to get used to. If you're just playing recreational ping pong, you don't have to. And this will help your putting stroke if you just do regular ping pong serves. Another thing you got to learn though, if you're playing in competition, is this back line of the ping pong table. A lot of people don't realize, I don't have to serve from right here in the middle. I can serve out here as long as I'm behind this imaginary line. That's the key in ping pong, staying behind the imaginary line. You didn't think this was gonna be educational, did you? Well, now the education's over, and I'm gonna get you with some spiritual ping pong, some really hard shots. These are the three shots you need to know in ping pong if you wanna improve your putting stroke. Shot number one, the holding the racket, not by the handle shot. Some people stick to the way the letters are. They think, okay, here's a handle, I'm gonna hold it. Boom, boom, that's fine. But why not, for a change, hold the paddle by the handle itself, by the racket paddle itself, and you'll notice you get a little different room to your shot, and that could really psych out your opponent. And that's the mental game in playing ping pong. When you're just playing against your friend, you want to win. You play like this all the time. He's used to what's coming. All of a sudden, you switch it up and you get a different type of shot. Let me demonstrate. This is a regular hit. Regular hit. Racket holding by the racket head. It's got a little bit of a different verve to it. We're going to do that again so you can see. Little cross court action, and now I'm gonna go straight to my opponent. The key in ping pong is mixing it up a little bit. Sometimes you hammer to the left, sometimes you hammer to the right. If you are going this way and you're just doing the service, you may wanna switch back for your backhand because you don't wanna have the chance of the ball impacting your hand. Another thing to do in ping pong if you wanna mix it up, freak out your opponent, is a high leg kick. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, what does that do? Well, 
it psychs him out because he's not expecting. He's like, whoa, what, what did that guy just do? Just like a pitcher that has an interesting windup, it kind of freaks out the batter until they get used to it. The same thing applies in ping pong. Let's do that one more time to demonstrate. Pretend you're going to do a regular serve, fake him out, and you're doing that high leg kick. It changes everything. Ping pong. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that was step two. Now I'm going to show you step three. Ping pong superiority. You're going to get a lob during a game. And when you get that opportunity, you can't pass it up. You have to do a full throttle slam. Okay, that was okay. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was a difficult one. I shot that out of the park. Okay, we've got to find a couple balls. <laughs> yeah, they have a way of disappearing. So we have one ball. <laughs> huh. There's one. Oh, where? There's a tree. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's two. Oh, wow. perfect. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bayonet. We need a stick for that. Oh, we can just use the bottom of this. Did you film that? Yeah. All right, that was good. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> so that was perfect. So you captured the aggression. I captured right. All right. So it has... You're surprised that you had the aggression. Yeah. You know, okay. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> uh, we have another ball. That's what I'm talking about. You got to power slam it, demoralize your opponent, because after that, they're going to play more tepidly. Maybe like that. They're not going to have the same side to side movement. One thing we've neglected to talk about is ping pong stretches. Ping pong works your soleus and glucinimus muscles a lot in your calves, but it also works your forearms. You want to feel it in here, pull your fingers back, do it on the other hand. Stretching, very important, kind of hold that, hold it for 30 seconds, then do the other side. If you want, you can do this kind of exercise. This is good too, kind of get in there, feel that stretch. And if you want to work your calves, find a spot where you're off and kind of go like this, or you can do step ups. Step ups will do it too. And that will get your calves ready for ping pong action. To finish off, have you ever wondered whether a ping pong ball floats? Guess now in the comments. What's your hypothesis? Does a ping pong ball float? What do you think? You're supposed to make a hypothesis. Oh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you think it does float? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to drop two in for scientific reasons. Perfect landing. And yeah, they float. So what that tells you is Ping pong table next to the pool, fine, no problem. Mike Deutsch, Sling Birdies, I've been playing some ping pong, I've been holding some putts. Wanna hold one more putt for fun? I know you do. Oh, so I got in the big hole, and now I'm gonna go for the little hole. Roger that. Little hole's harder, because you got to keep it on that track. It's like a road. You got to keep on that center line, the broken up center line. Have it go all the way, bang it in. It takes pinpoint precision, and you got to be an ace putter in order to get that in. Dustin Johnson uses this perfect putting mat. He's endorsed by it. And uh, I wouldn't credit it with his major victories, but definitely helped him. That's what I'm talking about.